Welcome to Hachiko Universe. I'm Yumi. I talk about Hachiko, dogs, and stars on my channel. Today, I'd like to talk about the University of Tokyo Komaba campus where Professor Ueno was teaching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hachiko's master, Dr. Hidesaburo Ueno, 1872 to 1925, was an agricultural engineering professor at the University of Tokyo. After studying agricultural engineering in Europe and America, he used his knowledge of technology to modernize Japanese rice farming. He taught more than 3,000 engineers at the University of Tokyo, Ministry of Agriculture, and Ministry of Commerce. Hachiko was born in the Saito family in Odate, Akita, in 1923. He was adopted by Professor Ueno in Shibuya when he was about two months old and was cherished by Dr. and Mrs. Ueno. When Professor Ueno taught at the university, he walked with Hachiko to campus. Hachiko waited at the campus for the professor to finish his classes, and they walked home together. When Professor Ueno went to other places by train, Hachiko went to Shibuya station to see him off in the morning, came home, and then went back to the station in the evening to greet him. However, on May 21, 1925, Professor Ueno suddenly passed away from cerebral hemorrhage while on campus. Since then, Hachiko kept waiting for Professor Ueno at Shibuya Station in the mornings and evenings for nearly 10 years until he passed away. This wonderful statue of Hachiko and Professor Ueno was erected at the University of Tokyo, Yayoi campus on March 8, 2015, on the occasion of the 80th anniversary of Hachiko's passing by a group of professors at the university. The statue was made by the sculptor Mr. Tsutomu Ueda, who is known for his talent in making both human and animal sculptures. The statue captures the moment that Hachiko and Professor Ueno hugged each other with joy at the Shibuya station upon his return for the day. This statue is very popular. On October 9, 2016, a duplicate statue made from the same mold was erected at the Abbey Graham Pet Memorial Park in New Jersey, USA. The special permission to make the reproduction of the statue was given to the park by the Hachiko Committee of the University of Tokyo. Since its establishment, the University of Tokyo was located in two places, one in Hongo, Bunkyo World, and the other in Komaba, Meguro World. In 1926, in order to enlarge the Hongo campus, the university acquired Makui Smiders, the descendant of the feudal road of the Maeda clan, 42,000 square meters of land in Bunkyo World, and in return, gave a vast property in Komaba that the agriculture department owned. The famous red gate of the University of Tokyo was erected in 1827 on the occasion of the marriage of the daughter of the 11th shogun, Tokugawa Ienari, Princess Yasu, also called Princess Yu, to the 13th Lord of Maeda, Maeda Narias. The red gate and the Sanshiro Pondo are legacies of the Maeda clan. During the time Professor Ueno was teaching at the university, the agricultural department was located at the Komaba campus. The department owned vast adjacent rice fields for research and experiments. The campus was filled with trees such as pines, zelkovas, and ginkgos. Among the forests were beautiful fields and western-style buildings. It must have looked like European landscape paintings. The Komaba Rose Garden, the oldest rose garden in Japan, established in 1911, was located right next to the university campus. At that time, aristocrats and military officers riding on carriages stopped by to buy roses. Now, although the size has been reduced, the same rose garden continues to sell rose plants. When the owners had to give up part of their land due to Japan's inheritance tax, the rose plants that were removed from the garden were replanted at the former Marquis Maeda mansion 
and the university campus. The roses continue to bloom beautifully in the new locations. I felt like I was back in the 1920s when I walked around the campus with the old trees. I could imagine students back then enjoyed greeting the handsome Professor Ueno and Hachiko as they happily walked together side by side. Thank you very much for watching.